Now this week's question comes from Chris Dorset in Victoria, and Chris wants to know, how is a common rail diesel system different and better than normal diesel injection? I think Andrew Limeroth from Berrima Diesel will be able to sort this one out. Well, the difference between common rail injection and probably conventional diesel fuel injection is pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's still squirting in diesel, still does all the same stuff there, but that's about where it all stops. The conventional diesel fuel injection had a very traditional fuel injection pump. It would plunge your fuel up to each cylinder's injector when it was supposed to spray the fuel in. So you had an injector pump that had a timing mechanism in it. It controlled the fuel volume, the delivery, the whole lot. Pumped fuel up through a fuel line. So if it was a six cylinder, you had six fuel lines running up to six injectors. Those six injectors would have sort of sequentially, a bit like a spark plug, fuel sprayed to them and the engine would fire. And the pressure in those would also be around sort of two and a half to 5,000 PSI. Now with common rail fuel injection, it's sort of a whole different ball game, but it's actually really old school. So you have a fuel pump. That's all you have, just a supply pump supplying fuel to the common rail, which is basically a steel tube, has the fuel lines connected to that, and then those fuel lines run to the injectors. So that pump supplies a constant pressure of fuel. It does vary, probably down as low as maybe 200 bar, and then right up to maybe 1500 bar at full load and full RPM. The ECU opens up each injector individually according to the firing order and let fuel in. So where one has a plunger pump system pushing up fuel individually to each injector, now you have everything primed with fuel waiting to go and just like a petrol injection system, little electronic injectors that are injecting fuel into the injection combustion chamber.